Welcome back to CBS 19 News at 10. The Sun of the Earth teamed up to put on quite a show last night. A full color production known as the Northern Lights. There will be another performance tonight visible along the northern tier of states. Light pollution can make it difficult to see such wonders of the night sky. But as David Schechter reports, a possible solution is sprouting up on a farm in Texas. In sleepy Rockwood, Texas, nothing much ever seems to happen until the roofs roll back off these sheds and reveal a telescope farm. Does it ever get old seeing all those roofs go at the same time? No, nope, has not gotten old so yet. So cool. Yeah, it's cool every single time. Bray Falls is an amateur astronomer. He turned his passion into a business 18 months ago when he co-founded a company called Starfront. It rents space to customers who ship their telescopes here and then control them through the internet from their homes. This location allows amateur stargazers to take stunning pictures such as these because the sky here is much darker than where they live. Where are some of the farthest places that people will tunnel to this location tonight? We have a lot of customers in Europe, uh, Indonesia. There's a guy in the UAE, Japan. Starfront is helping solve astronomy's biggest problem, light pollution. A 2023 study in the journal Science found every year the sky is getting 10% harder to see. This map shows the scope of the problem, which is particularly bad in the eastern U.S. Chuck Ayub in suburban Detroit showed us his garage full of telescopes, but he hardly uses them anymore after shipping one out to Texas. What's the difference between having it at your house and having it out in Texas? Well, the big difference are the dark skies. I am 20 minutes from downtown Detroit and that light pollution is a killer. Most nights, Ayub live streams his telescope feed to his large social media following. There's also a little camera at the base so he can see the telescope in action. Chuck is in Detroit controlling this thing in the middle of nowhere, Texas. Yes. Oh, he's live right now. He is. Hey, Chuck. Hello. From out here, Falls and others are identifying objects no one's ever seen before, such as this photo he calls the Crown of Thorns Nebula. It's furthering our understanding of space, even as our ability to see it is fading. What's the threat, do you think, to our existence as humans uh, from light pollution? It really prevents people from dreaming, like seeing what's above them. Just awe, you know, you get the tingles, you get the goosebumps. Now it's a feeling you can get. It's such an amazing thing. Even from your basement in Detroit. For I in America, I'm David Schechter in Rockwood, Texas.